as the NBA returns from its second boycott of all time and begins its second restart of the 2019 season, I will give you the locks and lotteries that you need to succeed for the start of the series between Miami and Milwaukee and the potential finale of the series between Houston and Oklahoma City. My name's Quick Pick Nick, and by using a series of complex programs, all the data I could get my hands on, and a deep understanding of the National Basketball Association, here are your picks for FanDuel's main slate of games on Monday, August 31st. To start off the list with a pair of locks, the two power forwards that you will want in your lineup are Bam Adebayo and Robert Covington. These two players are significantly better than any other alternative at the power forward position, with the next best option of Jeff Green starting to cool down from his recent hot streak. Compared to the other options at power forward, these two players are going to put up far more fantasy points than any other player, which is evident by their fantasy points per game, as well as playoff performances over the past few matchups. Moving on to a third lock for this slate, my model recommends Giannis Antetokounmpo. The main obstacle for this lineup was having to choose between James Harden, Antetokounmpo, or both. My model concludes that taking both would leave a crater-sized hole in your budget that you will need to save for other players, like Adebayo and Covington. And after comparing Harden and Antetokounmpo, Antetokounmpo is the more valuable choice given the fact that Harden has more valuable replacements at shooting guard, as well as Antetokounmpo's favorable matchup against a weaker shooting defense of Miami. Speaking of Harden's alternatives, the final lock in this lineup is Dennis Schroeder. Schroeder has seemingly been able to put a crack in the Rockets' armor, scoring 29 and 30 in-game points in two of the last three matchups, and nearly 32 fantasy points per game over his past four. Even with less playtime in his most recent game due to an ejection for a below-the-belt nut shot on an opposing center, Schroeder was able to score nearly 26 fantasy points, so look for him to bounce back and continue his streak against Houston. Schroeder wasn't the only player ejected during that game, though, and that second player who responded to Schroeder's cheap shot with a headbutt is P.J. Tucker. I would consider this thick scold individual somewhere in between lock and lottery, as literally none of the other centers in the slate are worth their costs. Essentially, every other option at center is overpriced, but given the fact that we have to take one of them, Tucker Tucker is the guy who will leave the smallest dent in your budget while still providing a consistent floor of at least 20 fantasy points a game. Now moving into the lottery section, meaning these players are less certain to perform well than the locks given the ever-present element of luck, my model recommends Goran Dragic and Eric Bledsoe. Dragic has been a solid secondary point guard for FanDuel lineups throughout the bubble and will likely continue to fill that role in tonight's game, scoring about 35 or more fantasy points in three of his last four outings. As for Bledsoe, he is a lottery because he was listed on Miami's injury report with a new right hamstring injury, but if he's active for tonight's game and at 100%, he's a relatively cheaper point guard who should be able to put up good numbers against a weaker defense of Miami. For the second shooting guard, this lottery player is Shai Gilgius Alexander, who's coming off his worst performance all season. The reason he's less of a lock is because of his recent flop, but I believe, and my model believes, that he will bounce back tonight and look more up to form with his previous scores as he fights to continue the Thunder series against the Rockets. Finally, to finish the lineup, my model recommends Jay Crowder. This lottery player can sometimes appear inconsistent looking at his numbers from the regular season, but his performance during the series against the Pacers was certainly promising. Crowder averaged 26 fantasy points over the last three games of the series with Indiana, and if Miami continues to have confidence in this veteran during Series 2, Crowder is a cheap choice who fits well in the last slot of this lineup. And that's what my model was able to come up with for the August 31st main slate of NBA games on FanDuel tonight. As for a quick channel update, I just uploaded a behind-the-scenes video if you want to learn more about the process behind the code, as well as an NFL video for FanDuel on Week 1. In addition, DraftKings NFL lineups are right around the corner alongside more FanDuel NBA lineups, so be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for those. Again, this has been Quick Picnic, the intersection for sports, data analysis, and speed. Thanks for watching.